In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 197 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Finding solution by taking out the common factor. Okay, now solve. Now you see there's actually quite a lot of this. A sin function, a cos, a cos squared function for this. Again, stop. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. Now continue. Since cos x can be equal to zero, we cannot divide both sides of the equation by cos x. Okay, so sin cos x minus is equal to zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take cos x out as a common factor. Okay. Then, we have two brackets actually, it's almost like you have two brackets. So, make this bracket equal zero or make this bracket equal to zero. So, then you have, okay, but if you see zero, it's, it's difficult to do the cost diagram because it's the same with zero, 90, one, oh, sorry, my pen is not doing what I want, to, uh, 90, <coughs> 180, 270. It's on the line, so it's difficult. The best will be to go back to the graph. Now, how is a cost graph? A cost graph is like this. Okay. So, basically, I can say, where is it zero? Uh, if I look at this, it's there zero, and it's there zero. So, this 180, so that's 90 and 270. And so, with this sketch, I can get x is 90 or 270. If we divide by cos x, we miss out the solution where cos x is zero. Okay. So that's why we, we must include this in the solution. Right. Now I'm sitting still with this equals zero. Okay, so I take it over. Now, if you divide by cos x, you will get tan x. So it's, it's not a matter of you are canceling a function out. So if you divide by cos x, both sides, then this one will become one, and this one will become 10. So unless you get a tangent or cotangent function, do not divide by a trig function. Also, rather divide by cos and not by sin, because sin zero is zero. Because remember the sin? Sin is like this. So at zero, it's zero. And that's why. But don't, in this case, it would have cancelled the whole function out. Now at least it's just transforming it to the tan function. Okay, and now you can say tan, and where is tan positive? In quadrant 1 and quadrant 3, and you press your basic angle, shift tan 1, you get 45, 45, so it's 45 and 225, and you have four answers. You have, uh, okay, let's just see, you have the 45, you have the 90, I just put it in ascending order, you have the 225, and you have the 270. Okay. So some trigonometric equations cannot be solved by using the cost diagram because the angles does not but in any quadrant, as I showed you there. So then you make a sketch. Actually, what I explained. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number two. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, right, let's start. Number two. Solve the equation. What is the equation? Oh, there. And again, stop. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. Okay, but what is the function? It's 3 tan theta is equal, and again, I have the two functions. Do you see? Okay, the angle is not a problem because it's theta. You see that theta, theta, it's fine. So it's 0, and it's smaller and equal to 3. Okay, so that is not a problem. Now, in this case, I, I want to try to also break it up a little bit. So, let's first go to this one, to the two functions. So, this will be 3 sin theta over cos theta. And that's 7 sin theta over 1. Now, I can cross multiply. So, if I cross multiply, I get 3 sin theta theta equals 7 sin theta cos 
theta. Okay. So now, what am I going to do now? I take everything to one side. So I have, uh, I can, it doesn't matter what side. So I have 3 sin theta minus 7 sin theta cos theta and make a, a zero. zero. There's nothing on that side. Okay, now I take sin theta out as a common factor. And I'm left with 3 minus 7 cos theta and that's zero. Okay. So, now again, it's almost like I have two brackets. So, I break it up. I have this and I have this. So, I have sin theta is 0 or 3 minus 7 cos theta is 0. Okay. Now, for this first one, I'm going to do a sketch again. Actually, I already did the sin sketch. We can just quickly refresh your memory. You must know your basic sketches. So where is it zero? In this, because it's just between zero and 360. So if I have my sketch, this is my sin, there is 360, there is 180, and there is zero. So according to this, if I look at the sketch, then theta, okay, it's zero, uh, where theta is zero degrees, or theta, is 180 degrees or theta is 360 degrees. Okay, so it's actually one, two, three places. Now I'm going to continue with this one. Let's move up a little bit. Now, if I'm going to continue with this one, um, I can take the cost. I'm just going to take it over to make it positive. Let's just give my blue. So it's 3 equals 7 cos theta. You see, so I can divide by 7, divide by 7, and then I can swap. So I have cos theta is 3 over 7. Doesn't matter, as long as you come to that. And again, now I have my sketch again, because now I can work with the cost. I have my cost. And where? Where? Is cos positive? Cos is positive there. Cos is positive there. And I find my basic angle. Make sure your calculator is on degrees. So shift cos bracket. 3 divide 7 close the bracket equals. So we is make it two decimal places, remember for accuracy. Uh, 64.62 degrees. So now I can say that theta, let's just keep it green now, theta is that 64.62, which will be to free significance 64.6 degrees, or theta is 360 minus 64.6. So 360 minus 64.6 and that is going to give me 295.4 degrees okay so it's quite a lot of answers and I'm just going to write it down we'll first mark it in red it's that one that one that one that one that one therefore theta is zero degrees or theta is 64, I just put it in ascending order again, or theta is 180 degrees, or theta is 295.4 degrees, or theta is 360 degrees, and that is all you see.